Hi, Sunny. Hi. So nice to see you. Um, we're just on Zoom now doing an interview for um, Harvest Collection and Christmas Hampers, which are two things that are we're both really, really excited about. Um, so, uh, Sally, could you talk to me a little bit about what we're hoping to, uh, to get out of the um, Harvest Collection? Um, we're hoping to get um, enough donations to support Open Door Food Bank and the uh, Christmas hampers. Yeah, so um, the next Sunday, which is, is the 4th of October, uh, we are, it's Harvest Sunday. And so for the donations this year, we're hoping to be able to support um, Open Door and Food Bank, but also to, uh, to launch the Christmas hampers for this year. So um, this year, I think the Christmas hampers are a new thing. Uh, because we won't be able to do what we usually do for um, our lovely, amazing Christmas Day lunch guests. Um, do you want to talk a bit about the Christmas Day lunch that you usually run, Sally? Uh, yeah, we, we normally have between 10 and, well, last year we had 17 people turn up. Um, it's, it's a time of having fun, getting together and just enjoying Christmas because I find that... Um, people who are isolated and vulnerable you know sometimes they don't see anybody over Christmas so it's really important um ministry really uh so yeah that that's the sort of things we do we have lunch we do party games we last year we had people singing it was really good fun but of course this year we can't do that no this year we can't and we need to make sure that we're protected the people who are who who are potentially vulnerable as well so um but we want to make sure we're reaching out to them don't we still and connecting with them and making them feel cared for and part of the community um and christmas hampers we think is probably a way to do that so what we're going to do this year is is a harvest collection um hopefully things for the christmas hampers if there's any if there are any monetary gifts that anyone wants to give then do you put them in an, in an envelope into the offertory box um, and essentially the idea is that we're going to get enough um, food and drink for each person to be able to enjoy something over Christmas it's always a worry that um, they might not be able to eat actually or they might not have enough to drink so um, it's really important that that uh, that we do this and we are family with those people including them um, and also giving them some some connection before Christmas so in the lead up to Christmas um, we'll be setting up the hampers we'll be gathering the food and the drink together putting it in a basket with some ribbon um, and actually going to people's doors so um, uh, and with a smile and a warm welcome and a connection it would be lovely to be able to um to present these hampers to the uh, the people that we want to reach um so if you do want to get involved please do contact me my email and my mobile number uh, are both on church suite but um sally and i will be uh, organizing it and uh for in terms of collection do bring your um, bring your any kind of donation that you are able to or wanting to uh, to give to Christmas hampers to Open Door or to Food Bank, um, and we'll be accepting them all the way through October. So from the fourth of October, which is next Sunday, um, and that's Harvest Sunday throughout October until the end of October. So do bring them to either church, to Christ Church or to St John's. Uh, and there'll be someone there um, accepting them. So that would be so fantastic. We would really love to bless um, the people of the parish of Cove who are, might be isolated, who might be recently bereaved, um, who might be struggling over Christmas. Um, so do get involved uh, if you want to. Thanks so much, Sally. It was so nice to chat. It really was. It's lovely to meet you, Ali. Take care.